Welcome back, fans and friends. For this upcoming episode, we have a flagship from Toyota, the Lexus LS400 series, the second generation, I believe, 1994. And we can see it's got the normal matchbox that are present, uh, the car moving through the uh, tree set up like a wreath. Uh, other than that, we have, again, the exact same thing. Uh, I don't know if they could just make it shorter and move all this down, but anyway, they haven't. So here we have it. And it has those wheels we're all familiar with. The one thing that scares me, though, is if we can see in there, there appears to be a gap between the top and the bottom. So that's beige and the silver. You can see there. There appears to be a gap. Well, I'll get a closer look when I get out of the package. But like I said, that they have stepped up their game a little bit. You can see the L there for the Lexus. Lexus again. But I don't see the LS400 on the other side. The other thing, too, is they've put nothing on the license plate. So this is a part of the top piece completely black and then the bottom piece there is just the gray and then we see the Lexus there the lights and everything else roofy mirrors all that stuff we love and just to the top here we have again Lexus 1994 sorry Lexus LS 400 uh, there is yeah for some unknown reason some of the other ones they would have this oh there is actually no number on this from this the series it's in so I just noticed that, that it is not a part of a series. It's release 31A, so it's this year, last year's release, Mattel and everything else, but it doesn't have the, like, let's say 60 out of 100 or whatever it is. Anyway, moving on, because we don't have to deal with that. So then we have Lesnar Super Fast, we have Mattel empowering the next generation through play, but really it's pretty much any generation, and the Lexus stuff. And we all know that it's from part of Toyota Motor Corporation, their luxury brand. And as we all know, these are not meant for uh, sets. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I was actually surprised that it is not a part of their main line. Like, it's just in limbo, I guess. It is a relatively new release. I do believe uh, the vehicle is two, three years ago. It's relatively new casting. I'll just start from the bottom, I guess. So here we have the 1994 Lexus LS400. There's its product code, matchbox number, and 2020. So it is R31, but the package says R31A. There is the rear, the differential for the rear-wheel drive car. Uh, we see the little roof and mirrors on the other side. Just moving on to the front, we have it's just one. It is uh, so the grill is etched in, which is very nice. I mean, it is stamped, but it is a uh, you can feel the grit part of it. Like this is all stamped a little bit differently. That's very nice. You have the windshield washer fluid sprayers. We have the uh, wipers are part of the windshield. You can just see how nice and clean it is into that cabin. Uh, and the sunroof makes it even better. Uh, what else we have? We have Lexus in the front there. Like I said before, blank license plate. This bottom part, I do believe, is entirely plastic. And so I'm not lying. It is, in fact, there is, in fact, a gap. You can just sort of see there. So it's a rare defect. I don't know if this is uh, Lexus wide. I mean, matchbox for this Lexus wide, not obviously Lexus. But yeah, you can sort of see into the uh, middle there. It's unusual because it's very rare. But also not very many vehicles... Do they release where the top is literally stamped to the bottom of it in terms of a uh, separate two-piece where it's almost two equal halves coming together? Uh, for example, I have here the uh, BMW. You can see that the bottom part is almost completely overshadowed by the top part. So I think what's happened there is it is just... You can clearly see that right there. It, there's a huge gap. I don't know how serious that is. Uh, I don't think it lends or takes anything away. But we'll just get on with it. So there we have the four door because this is their flagship. And you can actually see the gap now a little bit better there. Anyway, it's the four doors. Moving on to the rear. So we do see Lexus nice and clear. We see the Lexus symbol. But then there's no LS400. License plate is blank. But everything else here appears to be painted on correctly, which is nice. And there's the gas cap because Toyota puts it on the opposite side of where the driver is. However... If the car was sold in Japan, it'd actually be on the right side. So technically, they're not wrong. And everything else is pretty much the same. The wheels that we all know and love. Uh, dual exhaust muffler. I didn't point that out earlier. I just saw it now. 
and pretty much nothing else that, like so how serious is this gap you can probably play with it you can probably put it on display maybe people won't notice but uh, it's just highly unusual because usually they're all over this so and we don't see it evidently anywhere else so it's not like it's completely serious like because of the fact that the cabin here is gray if there was a gap here we wouldn't be able to see it very clearly but because we have parts of the uh, underside are the same color as this you can sort of see it there anyway it's the first defect i've had in a long time the 2000 gtr from their hot wheels line actually i remember uh there was a sort of separation between the top and the half but all i had to do is push down and then when i want to this one unfortunately the gap appears to be in the middle instead of on the ends so there's that anyway it's not important enough for me to say and now we can actually pretty much see into the pretty much it didn't keep me from buying it like i said everything else about this car is done okay had nothing much to complain about so fans and friends just giving it the roll test before i close this video 1994 lexus ls 400 the flagship second generation of the toyota luxury sedan line this is Thomas from Toronto and thanks for watching.